In this lesson, we're going to learn how to add color to the bricks and also how to switch the input geometry. So here we are with our network. And to add color to the bricks, we just need to put tab, put a color node down, and that'll get inserted into here. And then we're going to make that red. So at the simplest level, what we've done is we've added color to the points. And when we go and render that, you'll see that that points have transferred that color to the bricks. Now, one of the things though is we would like to pack an instance the geometry. That makes the copy to points node more efficient. In doing that, um, we lose the color. And so if we want to get the color back, we need to actually assign a material. So we're going to put down a mat network. You can open that mat network here in the material palette. And then we can drag a principal shader over into there. Now, this material will, if we go to here, we can rename that. So we just call this brick underscore mat. And this will do what we need. Because it can actually use the point color uh, when it's coloring an object. But having the material doesn't mean we've assigned the material. So we need to tab material node, and we'll set the display flag on that. And in this case here, we're going to add in the brick material. So that assigns it. You see everything got a little darker because the red on the material is actually a little darker. If we want, because it's the gray multiplied by we go 0 0.5, 0 0.5, 0 0.5 instead of 0 0.2, we get a, a better color. And we're going to go use packed color. That means that it will work with the packed geometry. So if we go here, um, it'll go through. And now it will actually render red based on that material. So a little bit about adding color in in this kind of situation. Now if we go back to here, we'd like to go up to the top and say, well, what if we don't want the rubber toy all the time. What if we want to have a different input geometry? So we're going to go tab switch, put a node down, put it right in the middle there. And this will give us an opportunity to try other geometry. Now, for now, let's just go to the shelf here and drag a platonic solid node down and feed that in. And the shape we're going to use there is up at the top, uh, Utah T-Bot. It's not very big, so we're going to make it bigger, maybe type 4.2. There. So that will go through the switch and get put on the ground. And there we go, because uh, the mat size pushes it up. And so now we've got to switch between these two options, between the teapot and the rubber toy.